everyone, it's Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media and I'm showing you today a journal I've been working on the last few days. It has got a cardboard cover, recycled cardboard, that I've stuck this colouring book page to and a magazine image. Haven't finished it yet, still need to put something at the top. It's a work in progress, the cover is. But what I wanted to show you was the scrapbook papers that I've been having fun with um, for my signatures inside. What I've done is I've got all my scrapbook papers and I've added um, paints and stamping and collage images to the edges of the pages like this, uh, which makes it nice and chunky and also adds a bit of colour to the uh, edges of the pages. And I've gone through and I've coloured over the tops of the pattern part of the scrapbook papers. And I've also um, painted with acrylic paints and inks. And I've used my stamps for the back of the scrapbook paper as well. So I've gone ahead and I've done all these gorgeous um, background papers using all my homemade stamps and acrylic paints and uh, acrylic washes. I've used uh, acrylic sprays and splatters and I've just gone ahead and decorated every single page and also put on um, magazine images, half of the image on this side and then the other half on the other side just to support that um, edge there. I really like how it's turned out. Uh, I think it's looking really um, nice and arty and I'm probably going to use this as a, a glue book and just um, glue some images that I like in here and just have a bit of fun. Probably um, actually add some words to this one as well. So I just wanted to show that one with you. So this was a lot of fun to do. I spread all the papers out over my kitchen table and <laughs> just went crazy with all my acrylic paints. It took me all day and my hands were so messy and there was paint everywhere, um, but I finally got it done. It is winter here, so it took all day to dry, but I did manage to clean it up before tea time, so that was good. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you that all these stamps I've done in here have been my handmade um, stamps, my foam stamps. Because someone asked me how I go about making my own foam stamps um, because they didn't want to spend money on stamps either. And I don't like spending money on stamps because they're really overpriced. They're one of those craft things that I just can't justify paying that amount of money for. So what I do is I make my own. So I wanted to show you. These are some um, that I have made and used a lot. Um, they're just made from um, thin sheets. They come in about A4 size of foam and they're normally coloured like pink, orange, purple. Um, these actually had glitter on the back of them as well, but the glitter side I glued onto the cardboard. So I don't know if you can see there, but it's very thin foam. And then it's just really thick uh, cardboard that I have um, glued with craft glue onto it. So I've made all these different patterns and there's probably a thousand more patterns that you could think of to use. And um, this is what I have done. And if you want to make lines or a pattern inside of your shape, all you have to do is draw those lines and then get something sharp like um, I use a little uh, nail scissors and I just press with the point of the nail scissors um, deep into the foam to make an indent and then that will show up in your um, in your stamp. I'll show you an example. So this one here is this stamp here. So you can see, see how these lines um, have come up? That's from that stamp there. So that's how I go about it. Uh, I've got a few more shapes there. This is a real big one. I like this one. 
So there's probably like, like I said, hundreds more designs you could make and I probably will make two. I also showed in another video, um, I've bought these, I haven't used them yet. These were $2 and they're just little foam brushes um, for scraping paint and stuff. So I haven't used these yet, but these look like really that they'd make some fun lines on some background papers as well. And I've also got my little box here of some foam stamps that I made a few months ago. Um, these are like things like um, I've made bears with patterns on them. So this has got like all kind of leaves um, in there, if you can see that up close. So that's my bear. Um, I've got a rabbit with um, hairs on it. Actually, it probably is a hair. <laughs> uh, what else have I got? Another little bunny rabbit. Some of them I haven't even used yet. But I have got cactuses. I've used that one on my scrapbook papers. Um, plants and trees. All sorts of things. A deer. You can make any, just about any shape that you want to. It's, you know, as long as you can... Uh, draw or trace an image even um, onto the foam you can make anything you want so um, yeah I've got lots and lots of these this is a favorite one of mine this fern I use that quite a lot got another bear uh, and also I wanted to show you I tend to use these little um, ink pads instead of the big ones because I find that for the little stamps like this where I want green and red for the flower it's just easier for me to I won't take the lid off but it's easier for me to put the ink on like this instead of putting it down onto a big pad if that makes sense so just going like that um, so I use these little Versicolor um, small ones instead and I've got a variety of colours of those. Um, so that's just showing you when I made postcards, um, I made this stamp here. Um, but you've got to remember to write uh, backwards uh, so it's like a mirror image which can be a little bit tricky. I did um, do the first one wrong. So um, yeah, that's how I make my homemade stamps. Um, to the lady who asked me how I did that I just thought I'd post this little video and show you um, my lovely journal that I have started and um, I'm really excited to sew these signatures in now with a um, bit of thread and uh, that will become um, a nice uh, collage journal for me Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe or press the like button if you did enjoy this. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful crafting day. Bye.